most of the nets that we find are these large conglomerates of fishing gear that's not from the Hawaiian Islands. A lot of these nets will you know, converge in different zones in the North Pacific Ocean. By way of trade winds or swell, they're brought into our Hawaiian Islands, and a lot of times this commercial fishing gear will get caught up on the reef. These nets will tend to suffocate these living coral, and it'll really smother the living tissue on the coral, and it'll die beneath it. It'll turn to like a stark white skeleton. And so what we feel like we can do with our hands is to remove this derelict fishing nets off of the reef. My name is James Morioka, and I'm the executive director and co-founder of the Papahanaumokuake Marine Debris Project. Yeah, growing up, I was always around the ocean and it really shaped who I was. Fishing has always been a part of me. It's been a part of my family. It's been a part of my culture. I decided I want to get into marine research. And after that, I was able to join the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration to do coral reef research around the Pacific Islands. Papahanaumokuakea makes up 75% of the Hawaiian island chain. It's 1,200 miles of islands, reefs, atolls, and we work primarily at seven out of the 10 main islands and atolls. Because of where we work, really shallow coral reef areas, we have to do everything by hand. And so there is no heavy machinery to help us. We do everything by free diving with no scuba. And we're swimming down to the bottom and swimming these nets up. We're using an assortment of pulling lines to get the nets from the bottom to the boat and out of the environment. Last year, we removed 330,000 pounds of marine debris, and 68% of it was derelict fishing nets. So we took 77 days to remove 330,000 pounds. We do a lot of our training here in our backyard here in Kaneohe Bay because it most closely resembles the atolls in the Northwestern Hawaiian Islands within Papahanaumokuakea. My name is Kiana Poki and I'm a marine debris technician with PMDP. Before PMDP, I, I was a little bit lost. I didn't really know what I wanted. I was seeking out purpose at that point in my life. I had heard about this place through a friend probably a few years prior. And when I was hired on, I knew it was the right place. I knew it was exactly where I was supposed to be. What drew me into conservation was my first experience on a quiet reef. That silence was deafening. I knew something was wrong, but I didn't know what it was. And it wasn't until I went back to a healthy reef that I was like, oh, there's no coral, there's no fish, there's no noise, there's no life. That was the biggest draw was I can look back and say, I tried. Regardless of the outcome, I did my best. I did everything I could and go to sleep forever happy. And that's what always draws me. The ocean has, has given me a lot. And so for us, pulling those nets off of the reef, we're not just you know, saving the lives of a few animals, we are literally saving whole colonies that represent sometimes hundreds of years of growth. We're not here to demonize the fishing industry. I grew up a fisherman. My family is fishermen. We just want people to take action to protect what they love. And it does really bring it full circle when we're on the other end, removing these fishing nets from the oceans. Right now, I think we're trying to do things locally to try and make a global change. And so 
Hopefully we can show that marine debris is impacting the wildlife and the habitat in Papahanaumo Kuakea as a test case to really try and change the world in large-scale solutions.